one, I wanted to uh, touch base again and this time walk you through a screen capture of myself searching for literature, searching for journal articles and things of that nature to help with your research. This is my first time using this software, so uh, hopefully it'll go smooth, whatever the case may be. So as you can see here, I am started on my IUP's homepage, um, which is where I'm going to want to start to do my first kind of search using uh, IUP's library database. So if you log on to my IUP and you go to your academics, on the, well, on my right hand side of the screen, it may be different for students in the library section, you'll see it says search catalog databases library home. And if you're just doing a first search, I click on databases. And on the databases, if you're, you aren't familiar with these, these are groups of um, kind of consortiums that have, uh, we have access to journals, right, through them. So you can click on specific kind of consortiums of journals and things like that that have kind of specific things. You see African American poetry and um, Agricola, which is um, an agriculture library. Uh, database, but if you're doing general searches or whatever the case may be, I like to just start with EBSCOhost. So if I click on EBSCOhost, and for me, I, I click this box that says Select All. So within EBSCOhost, EBSCOhost houses other um, journal groupings in it. So I just click on all of them, and as you see, it says Note: Selecting all databases for a search may result in slow response time. Uh, that's because it's looking through a lot of stuff now. This allows you, when you're searching, it will look through all different kinds of journals. Now, if you knew specifically, say, you were searching for something in um, you know, educational psychology, you could go to one of these um, databases that specifically looks at educational psychology, and it will only search through the journals in that field. Well, that's good. It takes less time and you, you get a lot less kind of, sometimes you, when you do it this way through the more general stuff, a lot of non-relevant stuff will come up. The only problem is you could be missing a lot of stuff by only looking through the specific journals. What I mean by that is people publish articles in all kinds of journals. So for example, if I'm doing something on political discussion, I may publish that in a political science journal. It could be a psychology journal. It could be a communications journal. And it really depends. And because of that, I like to do a broad search because you may find stuff in journals you that are relevant to you that you wouldn't necessarily think of. So when I get an EBSCO host, you can see you can do you know your basic search. You can search for uh, titles. You can search for books, journals, anything like that. But let's say I don't have a particular... Um, journal article that I'm looking for, right? So maybe I'll do an advanced search. And I'll say political discussion. And I also want to look at personality. So I want to look at maybe something that deals with how personalities relate to political discussion, which is something that's very relevant to what I study and actually something I study. So maybe that's what I do. And you can select the field, you know, if you want it to be um, within the author's name, the title, anything like that, or just generally show up anywhere. So if I search, okay. So obviously searching using the phrasing, it's just like you would search in Google or whatever. And the better you are at knowing how to kind of use and and or and that kind of stuff, the more specific you will be. But so here's what came up here. So in blue, you'll see these are the articles. Funny enough, here the second thing is my dissertation that they have on library loan, which that's kind of funny. I did not expect to see that. So here are all the journal, the articles that in the title have the idea of political discussion and something with personality in there. And you see here where it says PDF full text. That means the full text of the article is available. You'll see something sometimes something like this where it says click link for more information, you won't see PDF full text. In those cases, you may have to um, go through a couple other channels before you get to the article. So we'll take that second. But let's say I like this article. 
and it looks good. All right, so here is the citation, and here's the title. I like it. All right, I click PDF full text. There you go. There's your article. And here's the article. You can print it. You can download it. Or you can just read it right off of here. So I have my article. Great. Let's say I read through it and I say, oh, this is a great article. Like I mentioned in my last um, video, once you find a good article, you can go to their references and see the references they used and say, oh, there's probably a lot of other ones that are relevant to you. So let's say, for example, I decide that this article, for whatever reason, also looks quite relevant to me. Okay, the social networks of high and low self-monitors. Great. So maybe I know specifically this is what I want. So maybe I'll just highlight this. I'll copy it. I'll go back to my results. Okay, sorry, I don't know. Of course my thing is going up here. And I will do a new search with that title, and I'll just select title, because I know it's exactly what I'm looking for. And look, there it is. And I can again click on it and there you go. So that is one way of doing literature. I also said you could use Google Scholar. So if I go to Google Scholar, and I click on Google Scholar. Google Scholar, I can do, I actually like doing searches through Google Scholar um, when, I, when I'm just starting um, my research. So again, if I said in here, political discussion and personality, you'll see some articles. Now, in Google Scholar, what's different is you don't have access to these articles necessarily because these are housed on journals, right? So I find it easy to search for articles with Google Scholar, but you're not going to be able to necessarily get a lot of them through Google Scholar. So what you would do is say you see one you like. I click on it, and it will take you to the home page of the article on the actual website. So this is at the American Journal of Political Science. Okay, but I can't actually access the article through here because I don't have a subscription to the American Journal of Political Science, but IUP does. So maybe I click, I do that, I copy it, I then go back to my IUP library database. I search through it through here, and there we go. Okay, so this is one of those cases where the PDF doesn't show right up. So it says, check 360 link for more information. It's possible that EBSCOhost, which is what I'm searching through right now, doesn't have access to it, but a different IUP um, database does. So if I check for full text, it says full text text available at JSTOR. So it's through a different database. And there we go. All right. Now I can look. I see, okay, is this my article? Well, there it is. Now I have access to it. I can download it. I can do all those kinds of things. So couple different ways to go about finding stuff. Like I said, I like to go through um, Google Scholar if I'm just kind of searching for things uh, first, and then I find the search good. The other thing that I had mentioned was I said that you could go to the reference page of articles and find the references they use. So another thing you can do is in Google Scholar, if you see down here under each article, it says cited by. I click on that, it shows all of the articles that have cited the article that you kind of clicked on. So anything that came after this article that used the article you liked could also be relevant to you. Another good way to find more information. Um, 
So those are just a couple of, of tips and tricks um, to searching literature. Oh, one final thing I will say. Let me go back. If I go back to my EBSCO host and say you just want to search through a particular journal. Say there's a journal you like or a journal that's relevant to you. Say the Journal of Communication, which is a big journal um, in our field. If I search for the Journal of Communication, I can... Um, excuse me here. Hold on here. Just go to the journal web page. Wasn't my best search here. Hold on. Oh, guys, I'm sorry here. Now I'm losing my myself a little bit here. Click on this. If I click on source, I can get to the page of the Journal of Communication, and it will list all of the issues. And I can click on a particular issue, say. And these are all of the articles in that issue. So if there's something you could just look through that way, uh, a particular source.